My name is Jade Whitmarsh and I'm from Alberta, Canada. Wow, Alberta, Canada. Yeah. You came all the way down here for this event. What brought you here? Uh, well, we qualified through the NAACs through our qualifier show in September and we decided that me and my sister could take enough time off school to make it happen. And it was kind of a decision that if we were going to do it, we're going to do it. And so uh, Austin, my coach, was really helpful in just getting everything together for us to come down. Did the Bob's Custom Saddles Intermediate Non-Pro have anything to do with your decision to come? No, actually it didn't. I was, I was coming down mainly just for the experience to show in Oklahoma. I've been down many times to watch the Futurity and such, but never, never ridden in it. So it was really cool and we came down never expecting to make it to the showdown or even in the top 10, you know, we came down to say we're coming down to come down and we'll see what happens. But it was a really cool experience. I'm super happy I got the chance to. So how did you prepare for this event? Did you do anything different than normally when you show? Not really, you know, Cruz is a, he's a pretty steady horse. He. He doesn't take too much, which is good. So we just tried to keep everything as similar and same as we know how. Tried not to change too much in order to keep them that way. Well, can you tell me more about Cruz? Definitely. So we raised Cruz. He was our first baby that we got to raise. He's at a top. He's a top sailor out of a solitary gunner, and uh, we own that mare as well. She, our first baby, and I've been riding for the past two years. He was started down at Casey Deary's, then we brought him back up to Canada, and Austin. Austin has been showing him and succeeding very well ever since up there. That is so exciting yeah. that on your own home raised a baby too. It, it's super exciting to get a chance to see him go in that pen and really show what he's what he's worth, you know. Yeah. It was really awesome. So what do you have planned going forward from here? Well, we plan to make the trip back and then give him a, a, quite a bit of time off. He deserves it. He ran hard and he he gave us his all, so I plan to give him quite a bit of time off and then we'll see what happens in the spring, but probably stay up north and then, if given the chance, come back down again. We usually try to get to the Idaho shows in Montana. Haven't been able to the past few years, so hoping that maybe this year will be different. Well, I hope so. Um, did Austin give you any special advice before you <laughs> went into the Coliseum today? No, I get so in my head before I show that Austin just tries to make me laugh out in the warm-up pen, and it works, but that's usually what he does. He said, just go in there and show him. You know how, and you can do it, and that's that's what he said. So well, put your hand down and show. There you go. What was it like showing in the big Coliseum? It was super exciting. You know, I, it's not as big or as deep as it seems from the outside, and then once you're in there, it's actually really comfortable, and you know, you feel very in the center center of everything with the lights and such, but it was such a cool experience and I can't wait to do it again. Well, who do you want to thank for helping you get here today? I definitely want to thank Austin Seelhoff and his family for supporting me and supporting him coming down here and giving him that option. I want to thank my family, my mom, my dad and my sister for their support along the way. And I definitely want to thank the entire Barn family that came down with us because without them in the show side, on the show side ring, helping me get ready, probably wouldn't have made it in the pen the same way. Thank <laughs> you.